everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and for being here today uh today's video is going to be addressing why i have been gone for quite a few weeks um and i'm also going to be doing a get ready with me which is why i look like this uh just in case you thought wow jordan has really let herself go with quarantine i have a very hyper puppy he's uh Barking at himself in the mirror. He's like, who's that puppy? Who is that other puppy? He's in dire need of a haircut, but obviously due to, thank you for licking my ear. Obviously due to um, the virus right now, like groomers aren't open for good reason, but that's why he's looking a little bit shaggy. So I decided I was gonna do a get ready with me because I uploaded um, a small get ready with me or a small like makeup routine, I guess, on my second Instagram, which is more Jordo. And I got a lot of positive feedback, so I thought I would come on YouTube and kind of explain the products I use while also explaining uh, a bunch of stuff that's been going on in my life, so yeah. I am at my parents' house, hence why uh, this isn't my regular bedroom. Um, and since I am at my parents' house, I don't have my usual makeup setting, so it is a bit, you know, chaotic. So hopefully that's okay. Like, it's not gonna be like a beauty guru video where, you know, everything's just perfectly fucking placed. I gotta dig through my goddamn makeup shit to find what I need. All right, so I'm gonna take my glasses off and now I can't see, so if I'm squinting, I apologize. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This has always been my favorite primer. But going into why I have taken a little break, honestly, it was completely unplanned. Um, right when stuff started getting serious with the coronavirus and stores started closing, Leo, my little angel Leo, decided he wanted to play with my laptop you know it was his new toy the thing about leo is his favorite toy is everything that is not a fucking toy so he's always into like toilet paper fucking pill bottles you know shit that he should not be into and now he's into the printer which is fucking lovely but he was chewing on my laptop and he was chewing in the top left corner of the monitor and the monitor just went completely fucking black and i was like oh now my monitor's broken, and of course, right when it broke was right after Apple closed all their retail stores, which means I could not go in and um, get it fixed. So I ended up going to like a local place, like a local repair place, and they quoted it at $900 to fix. And before it broke, I was actually looking into a new laptop anyway, because my old laptop, um, it was a couple years old, but it didn't have enough room, like enough storage space on the hard drive for the size of my video files. So, hey, get out of my makeup. So I was looking for a new one anyway, so I really didn't want to spend that $900 to fix it if I was just gonna replace it anyway. So I ended up getting a new laptop, but this whole thing took like a couple weeks because I kept waiting it out saying maybe the stores will open and I kept waiting out saying maybe I can get some sort of assistance on it. And also I was just like, I was really confident that I could fix it, which I ended up, I couldn't. So that explains why I've been gone. It's really not, you know, scandalous or anything, but I am back and I am ready to make content. Um, I'm going in with my foundation now and this is the It Cosmetics your skin but better cc plus cream color correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum Woo! fucking mouthful this is in the shade fair and i am recording on my phone by the way so don't expect like that you know like when beauty gurus are like and it focuses that ain't happening today sis we're bootleg up in this house i usually just use like one pump one pump because my skin has been very nice lately honestly i think it's because uh i've been putting makeup on it because we're in quarantine, where the fuck am I going? I'm not even going anywhere today. I just didn't want to sit and talk for a life update. I thought that was boring, so I decided to do this, but probably right after this, I'm gonna take it off. I do this and I make sure to go all down my neck because I don't want to be, you know, different neck shape, different neck shade, not shape. And I'm gonna go all around my eyes because I still have a bit of hyperpigmentation around my eyes. I still have actually a lot of hyper hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation um like you can tell already holy shit on my body from when i was obese because that is a common side effect of obesity is hyperpigmentation and it's hard to get rid of unless i did like lightning like acid peels and stuff which do i really want to do that i don't think so but yeah i've talked about that a lot like around like your groin and all the places you don't want hyperpigmentation that's just you know my life but anyway um i've been getting a lot of questions a lot of dms from you guys asking if i'm okay because of this like covid19 stuff uh obviously thank you for the concern i really appreciate that a lot of you know i've been struggling with my hey 
he's biting the tripod. I've been struggling with my mental health a lot this year, so obviously this isn't fun for anyone, this virus. Um, I try not to complain too much because people have it a lot worse than me, obviously. Um, thank you to everyone who is working right now, especially our medical staff. Obviously, without those people, we would not be able to function as a society. So please remember to, you know, thank those people every opportunity you can. But for me, um, most... Leo, we are trying to do a get ready with me. You're supposed to be a good boy when we do these things. But yeah, obviously, I don't think anyone's doing well. Like, nobody likes this. Nobody likes being quarantined. Nobody likes feeling like everything is changing. And I think we all just want to get back to our normal life. Dude. We don't hump, remember? Remember? We agreed, we don't hump anymore. Like a lot of you guys know I work from home anyway, so it's not that working from home has been hard for me to adjust to. Oh my God, I forgot a step. Ah, oh, I forgot, cause I'm not doing my makeup, so I forget my new makeup routine. Usually I put this translucent powder on after the primer and before the foundation. Um, it's like a tip that's going around Twitter and it makes your skin look really flawless. So had I been paying attention, I would have done that. But, and that's just the Makeup Forever translucent powder. What the fuck? Oops, well, my bad. Okay, now I'm going in with my concealer and this is the famous Tarte Shape Tape, my favorite concealer of all time. And this is in shade light as well. So basically up until I got my computer, because that's another thing, I had no computer, I couldn't work. So I went weeks with not being able to work and being stuck inside. So I was going fucking crazy. But now that I have my computer, I'm able to work again. But for the past couple weeks when I didn't, I was playing a lot of Animal Crossing and reading a lot of news on Twitter and uh, reading in general. I decided I might as well be, you know, at least somewhat productive and maybe read or learn about something new. So I've been reading a lot about witchcraft, which has been very interesting, just learning the history of it and stuff. It's so interesting learning about things that like you were never taught as a kid. I'm not a religious person, as you guys probably know. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious. I've never talked about religion, but it's very interesting to see like, how witchcraft influenced like Christianity and how it influenced modern religion. Witchcraft has been around forever, like way before Christianity. Um, it just didn't have the label witchcraft. And something that I learned or something that I thought was really interesting, um, and you guys can, you know, chime in below if you think it's bullshit or if you agree or if you think it's interesting, is that witchcraft like developed over centuries and centuries and centuries of like human development. Um, and as a result, like, Back in the day when humans relied solely on hunting for food, a lot of these witches or a lot of these people believed that there was a god of hunting. Like, like they had a lot of different gods, like god of the sea, god of the streams, god of the sky, god of hunting, etc. Um, and god of hunting, since a lot of the animals they hunted to eat had horns, that god was horned. So that god had horns because god of hunting. And that was considered one of their most important uh, gods, like I said, because obviously you need food to eat. And what I learned, which is very interesting, is that a lot of scholars theorize that the reason why the devil has horns is because when Christianity came in, they wanted to demonize witches um, to look like they worship the devil, which in reality, witches and witchcraft in general, they don't believe in the devil because it's not a, it's not related to Christianity. Uh, so they don't even believe in the devil. So the fact that people think that like, which it like witches worship the devil it's all just fabricated i thought that was really interesting anyway so this is my skin right now so as you can tell i don't have any powder on but i love the look it gives my skin i think it just looks very i don't know good like beautiful now i'm going in with my favorite face uh setting powder and this is the laura mercier one however this is the translucent powder the glow one so the Laura Mercier, they have the regular one and then they have Glow. Glow is the one I prefer because it gives you like a glowy finish instead of like a super matte finish. Uh, if you're into the matte look, go for it, girl. But I am not. I like more of the glowy because then if I sweat, it's not as obvious. But yeah, so I'm just going to apply that. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the glow that it's putting on, but hopefully. All right, so it is on. Can you see? Oh yeah, you can kind of see that my face is glowing a bit. Um, so that is that. All right, so now I'm going in with blush and I use the good old NARS Orgasm. This was all the rage like five, six years ago on YouTube, but I just never stopped. So I still love it. Uh, anyway, on to the next thing and that is weight gain. So, so we're gonna talk about weight gain during quarantine. So I know a lot of people are struggling right now with gaining weight, myself included uh, in quarantine. By the way, I put this literally all over my face because I'm copying the e-girls. I think it's so cute. I like blush. And right now it looks a bit crazy, but I swear it comes together. Um, but yeah, weight gain. So I have been, you know, putting on some pounds this uh, quarantine. Obviously I'm not super happy about it, but I can't blame anyone but myself. Basically, I think I've gained like 
five, six pounds of fat, by the way, not bloat. Um, I gained about 10 pounds of bloat, but I've lost about like four or five of it. So um, I'm talking like fat, like I've gained five pounds of fat. I have been gaining and losing the same five pounds for three years. So um, right now I'm just at the top of that. And honestly, do I think there's a major difference between like 170 and 175 pounds the way it looks on my body not really yeah i have been gaining weight mostly from boredom like just eating because i'm bored uh however i have to be honest there is a big reason oh i'm using the jeffree star ice cold highlighter my friend sammy uses this and it looks killer on her so i bought it there is one specific thing that has contributed to my weight gain um feel free uh to guess in your head right now what it is. And that one thing is uh, edibles. So a few months back, I started uh, using a vape pen or a weed pen before bed because like I sleep so well when I have a little bit of weed. By the way, I live in Canada. It's completely legal. I don't want to hear any shit. It is completely legal and no shit in the comments. But I started using this pen around like 9 p.m. just because it really helped me sleep like really well. Like weed sleep is the best sleep. Um, but then somehow over time, the time I smoked at 9 p.m. got earlier and earlier. So then I started smoking at like 7 and that was a bad idea because then I'd be high at 7 and just eat everything in sight. And then the corona stuff started getting super, super serious and um, the weed pen and weed in general really messes with my lungs. Like I cough a lot and that wasn't something I wanted to do in a time where respiratory health is really important. So I stopped smoking and I started getting edibles. Eating while high on an edible is a different experience, guys. Like everything just tastes so good when you eat an edible. So I got into the edibles for a couple weeks and I think that was my downfall, just like getting high too early, eating too much and then feeling guilty, but then doing it again. So I have completely cut out the edibles and I've completely cut out the weed. Um, I've been struggling to get like back into a normal sleep routine. Like I've been very exhausted but um i'd rather have that than feeling bad about myself and my body so that's what i've done i'm going into my eyebrows now i use anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade and this is in granite which is the darkest shade but yeah so i am back on track like i said i've lost all my bloat weight so i'm really excited about that i just you know i don't like feeling bad about my body nobody does so i just cut that shit out that's something i've always really like been proud of is i feel like i'm very strong-willed like that's how i lost the weight in the first place obviously but when i see something you know damaging me or something is self-destructive to me i'm really good at just cutting that shit out so like i said obviously i miss it because being high is lit but it's not worth me feeling bad about my body and potentially digging myself into a binge eating hole because you guys know how hard i work to get out of that the sun's changing my apologies we don't have studio lighting up in this bitch um yeah one's done yay so now on to what else I'm working on and what I'm planning on. So work stuff. So I am very, very excited. I am working on something big, everyone. And I don't want to tell you exactly what it is because it'll ruin a surprise, but um, it's something bigger than I've ever worked on in my life. Um, in regards to social media, by the way, that I'm talking about YouTube and stuff. And it's something that is taking up all of my time and something that has been quite stressful given the current, you know, social climate, obviously creating a project during this time um there's a lot of uncertainty but i've already started like i started before all this happened so i can't just go back because i'm already paying people i've already got shit going yeah so i'm starting this business and i'm really 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 fucking excited about it it's just it has been very stressful for me because i'm doing this completely on my own like i'm the one filing trademark applications i'm the one talking to manufacturers so yes this business does have actual items that i will be shipping out to people whoever wants to support the business whoever wants to buy the products i'm the one talking to manufacturers and i am literally insane when it comes to manufacturers because i am super super anti obviously sweatshop anti unpaid labor i'm very anti low wage labor so i've been a goddamn crazy person asking these manufacturers to send me stuff that they've probably never been asked for before. Like this one manufacturer, or the one I chose actually, um, after I actually ended up choosing this manufacturer, after they went through the entire factory and sent me a video of the entire factory. Cause I was like, I gotta make sure there's no goddamn kids up in this bitch. Like I gotta make sure, okay. This manufacturer has to align with my ethics. So I've been like that person, <laughs> these poor manufacturers. They're like sending me like testimonials of their employees and like, 
their factories and like and like I tried to get the wages out of them but they were like that's confidential and I was like oh like I was trying to make sure that people were paid properly but based on like the factory and everything and everything I've seen and all the reviews I've read because I've done a lot of research um it seems pretty good so I'm really happy and really content with the manufacturer I have chosen um but like I said it's just stressful because I'm doing this on my on my own by the way this isn't something that's going to be launched until like the latter half of the year so I'm hoping by then stuff is a bit normal so like it doesn't completely flop because I don't have any investors. I'm doing this completely on my own. Like this is my entire, like this is my investment. I'm investing all the money, like all my own money. I don't have investors. I don't have loans. So I'm really hoping it is successful. But yeah, so the business has been taking up most of my time. There's just a lot. Like if you own a business or you have a friend who owns a business, you know, like you got to get samples. You got to get, oh, sorry. I'm going in with the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. This is another OG that people have used back in the day that I have not given up. I need to get shipping weights because shipping in Canada is a goddamn nightmare. Shipping in Canada is just more expensive than shipping in any other country. So I've been trying really hard to make sure certain things weigh a certain amount so people don't have to pay too much in shipping because I don't want anyone to have to pay a lot in shipping because that fucking sucks. I hate paying shipping. And I'm really not trying to complain because I'm so grateful and blessed that I have this platform to be even able to start a business. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a lot just for one person and someone who doesn't have any experience in business. Like I have no experience. I haven't ever, I took like a business class maybe in grade 10 cause it was mandatory. But since then, no, no business. <laughs> okay, so now I usually put eyeshadow on, but I can't find it. I don't know if I'm just like, I can't see it or if it's, if I forgot it in front of me. But I'm just gonna take the highlighter again and put it in the inner corner. Cause I like that pop in inner corner. Ooh, ooh, maybe some on the brow bone too. Oh shit. But yes, that is something I'm super, super excited about. All right, guys, I cannot find my eyeshadow, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is put on my eyeliner. I cannot put my eyeliner on holding like this. So I'm going to go to my mirror and do it quick and I will be back. So I have the eyeliner on. I fucked it up a bit, but like I said, I'm not actually leaving the house today. So <laughs> I don't really care that much. So for my eyeliner, I stand by tattoo liner by KVD Beauty or KVD Vegan Beauty, I think it's called now, which used to be Kat Von D, but she sold her rights or whatever to the company. So that's what I use. Um, and then my new product that I'm so excited to share, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know, because I've been like raving about it. But that is Magnetic Lashes. Ah, oh, girl, my life is so easy now. Why didn't anyone tell me about Magnetic Lashes earlier? Uh, the company that I got it from is Glamnetics. Uh, love, love these lashes. So basically how like Magnetic Lashes work, there are a ton of different companies. This is the one I have decided to invest in. Um, you get like this eyeliner and the eyeliner is magnetic and then you can put the eyelashes on and then they literally like click on They click on No more glue. The main reason why I don't like wearing eyelashes. Well, I have two One is because the glue really irritates my eyes. The second is because I'm a glasses wearer So they always hit but I mean, I couldn't I couldn't resist. It's just too easy By the way, I put on my like wings with uh, my tattoo liner and then I just slightly put the other eyeliner over because I don't want to waste the um, other eyeliner on like a wing because like that's not even where the eyelash is gonna hit and it's expensive like magnetic shit is pretty expensive um at least this brand was but yeah so other than that for the business um i hope you guys are excited um i'm really excited and i know i haven't told you what it is which is fucking lame but honestly i just want i just want it to be a surprise um we don't have many surprises in this life but just know that i'm making it um with the help of another designer um I'm putting a lot of work into it. And most importantly, just know that if you choose to support the business, you are supporting an ethical business. It is going to be affordable. And the business, I'm also going to be providing free stuff as well because you guys know that's really important to me to provide free resources for you guys. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Just anxious because of the current, you know, the world. But like I said, I already started, so I can't turn back now. I already paid, girl. I'm already paying. Oh, I haven't put, I haven't put mascara on. Yo, 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 I haven't put mascara on. Okay, so the mascara I use is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, Fave Mascara. I love this shit, girl, I love it. I have like pathetic eyelashes. So anything that can make my eyelashes look a little less pathetic, I'm down for. How's everyone's hair doing? <laughs> you can't see my hair right now because I have a towel on, but the roots, the roots. And I've almost convinced myself into bleaching my hair several times because I'm going a bit nutty, stuck inside. But every time I post online about it, everyone's like, do not do it. Don't do it, Jordan. Don't do it. And since I've worked so hard to like get my hair healthy after losing half of it following weight loss, 
I'm like, okay, maybe I won't. But yeah, if you guys are still watching, if you made it this far, good job. Because I haven't been talking about the most interesting shit. But definitely let us know down below what you're doing to keep busy. Like I said, I've been working now that I'm on my laptop, uh, reading, going on a lot of walks, um, playing Animal Crossing. I just got into The Sims again, which again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, because I've been living, I've created a coven and I have a witch coven and I've been, you know, <laughs> living my best life through my Sims, going to the store. Can I? Okay, we're going to try our best. Y'all see that shit? Did you see that? Oh, one magnet's not on. It's done. Like, that's it. And these eyelashes are so pretty. They're like wispy. Oh my god. And they don't, it doesn't feel like you're wearing them. I'm never going back to glue again in my life. I swear to God. All right, ready for the second one? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? So fun. It's done. That's it. That's it. I don't think. Oh, this one isn't placed as as good, but watch. You can just take it off and replace it. So easy with magnets. This is like one of those inventions I'm mad I didn't think of myself. There we go. I love the way eyelashes make my eyes look. But yeah, guys, so that is basically the finished look for, you know, hanging out in my goddamn house. Um, and that's basically all my life updates. Thank you so much for clicking on a life update. Thank you for being invested in my life. And thank you, of course, for sticking around this long. I really appreciate it. I apologize again for the delay. Um, but now that I have my new laptop, which by the way is a goddamn beast. Look at this thing. I swear it weighs more than my dog. I plan on uploading regularly again and I plan on connecting with you and you know, checking in, pro hopefully giving you some quarantine content and yeah. So as always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys being here and I hope you stay safe and healthy at home. Bye everyone. Bye, say bye.